Welcome back. Well, we're taking a look at today's trending stories. Yes. It's time for Hot Topics. That's right. Sad news out of Hollywood. Actress Shannon Doherty revealing that she is battling cancer again. The actress says she now has stage four cancer and is still processing the diagnosis. Doherty says uh, she doesn't know what, didn't announce what type of cancer that she has at this time. She was first diagnosed with cancer, breast cancer. Do you remember this yes, back in I 2015? Do. The Charm Star was announced she was in remission in 2017, and Doherty says she took part in last year's reboot of Beverly Hills 90210, partly to prove she could continue working despite her second cancer diagnosis. She says she still has a life to live. Absolutely. Uh, definitely think about her. Rush yes. Limbaugh also announced that yes, he's right. battling uh, advanced uh, lung cancer that's right. Yesterday, uh, as yeah. well. So definitely thinking about Thoughts those two. You. Shannon Doherty, of course, we all grew up with her watching yeah. her on 90210. Yep. She even made an appearance on Riverdale after Luke yes, Perry passed that's away. Right. Um, and so she's like part of our, I feel like part she's like a part of my, my childhood, a part of my, yeah. my, my inner circle. Totally. She yeah, is. for sure. So we're battling with you. We'll yeah. Yes, for sure. The 92nd Academy Awards will air on Sunday. Very excited about this one. That's right. Early predictions are out. Uh oh. What Parasite is it? wins Best Picture. Well, at least among millennials. Okay. Fandango surveyed more than 2,000 millennial moviegoers, and Parasite just edged out. 1917 for the okay. best picture. They also chose Joaquin Phoenix uh, from Joker as best actor, Brad Pitt from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood as best supporting actor, and two little women, Saoirse Ronan for best actress yeah. and Florence Pugh for best supporting actress. So we'll kind of see, maybe the millennials got it right, but yeah. we'll have to wait till Sunday to see how close they are. Does every generation get to, to choose to maybe, predict? Maybe we, should, maybe we should ask Fandango to yeah. do a survey for kind of like all age groups. <laughs> yes, right. I know, <laughs> millennials. See. Who would you pick, though? Uh, I don't know if I would go against those, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 1917 did pick up a lot, so I think that they are neck and neck. We'll yeah. see what happens yeah, there. Yeah, we'll see. And speaking of the Oscars, there are some serious perks yeah. to just being nominated. Yeah. Forbes says the gift bag for Academy Award nominees is worth $215,000 this year. That's right. All 24 <laughs> acting and directing nominees get one, nice. bringing the total value to 5.2 million bucks. Cray. The most expensive item this year, a $78,000 12-day cruise, uh -huh. up to $25,000 in cosmetic procedures from a New Ooh. York City doctor. Swanky. On the lower price end, <laughs> that is swanky. <laughs> on the lower price end, they will receive cannabis chocolate edibles. Now, it's not okay. all free. That's a little bit bougie, too. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, recipients are required to pay income tax on the value of the gifts that they redeem. Which I find fascinating. I do too. I'm curious how many gifts are redeemed each year. Right, I'd because they did say at least one actor turns the gifts away and they donate it to charity. Yeah. And I just want to put this out there in the atmosphere that if anybody doesn't want to accept that $78,000 cruise, yeah. your girl, I, holler. I will go. I mean, <laughs> Same. I will go. Right, as long as you pay the taxes yeah, that's, on okay. that for us. Okay, just take care okay. of that. All right, well, Course Light is encouraging you to ditch the stuffed animal this Valentine's Day and chill with a dog and a beer instead. I, the I company is day. offering $100 to cover dog adoption fees. Now, the deal is available to the first 1,000 people between now and February 21st. That's my daughter's birthday, actually. Ooh. You must be of legal drinking age, of course, and submit a receipt of the adoption to the beer company via text message. Now, according to the ASPCA, 6.5 million animals enter shelters every year, and the Humane Society says more than 2 million are healthy and treatable. I kind of love this. Look at that. The yeah. adoptable Valentine. That's so sweet. I would like this dog. This I know, dog I right have here. This specific dog. That specific what? dog. I would like this dog. I want that one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but they're all adorable and it is fun to have a furry friend around. Yes, and you know, you've I got know. Spartacus. I've got I've got a cat. I love chilling. <laughs> I'm often chilling with a, a beer and a cat. So sure. <laughs> it's it's I get the reasoning behind this. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Super cute. Yeah. Stay with us. We'll be back with more good day in WA right after this. Spartacus is cuddly. He is right? super cuddly. <laughs>